very proud, a little bit nervous. It's magic because it's very hard and it's a team job. I have seen it so many times, my friend. 24 hours, it's 24 hours. The Dubai 24-hour race. For the pros, the curtain raiser to the long distance season. For the hobby teams, a thrilling challenge. Over 240 drivers seek to put themselves to the test in the autodrome. The desert roars. 24 hours at full throttle. 24 hours of non-stop demands on man and machine. Regardless of what class the teams start in, everyone races here on uniform tyres. The challenge is we have uh, today 78 cars on the grid, which is a big number, and cars as uh, different as full uh, uh, GT uh, Porsche, really uh, driven by uh, Porsche uh, uh, drivers, until uh, small Fiat, and uh, you have to cope with all that. 24 hours, 78 cars, 6,000 tyres, provided by one supplier. In the desert sun, the asphalt heats up to over 50 degrees Celsius. The interplay of cars and tires, especially the issue of tire wear, is a decisive factor in the race. We're quite lucky, we've got a very small light car. So the tires don't change that drastically. Uh, unless you make a big mistake, like you lock up on your brakes, you get a flat spot and then you get lots of vibration. We're gonna change the tires, the rear tires, we change them only every six hours. The front tires only every four hours. The Pesa Plus racing team moves up into the top three, but continues to work on the optimum setup, even during the race. We just try to change the compound. That we maybe goes off down the rear, because it's very hot now, but I think in the night, when it gets cold here, the time will get cold. We simply get no temperature enough in the tires on the rear. We simply have to need to mix off the compound to get more grip to get a balance in the car. The race goes on into the night. Time to take a closer look at the tyre's structure. This is always the same, regardless of the race series. The sidewall gets bonded with the bottom layer, the carcass. Wrapped onto this then come various rubber-coated layers of textile and steel cord. Then right at the end comes the tread. It forms the tyre's outermost layer. Then things get hot. The precise formula for a motorsport tyre, a strictly guarded secret. Three things are responsible for the stability and firmness in the tyre. The radial ply, layer materials and the desert. But it's not only they that are responsible for it, namely the so-called silent characteristic agents, carbon particles, chemicals and so on. Fillers in fact, without these the rubber would not be durable. Over 200 materials and substances are used for making tires. The fundamental basis, varying by tire type and compound, is always formed by a single mass kneaded together in the mixer. The bread filler ensures direct transfer of steering changes and with the apex press bonded, it later serves as the tire wall. While the textile cord serves to transfer the drive load, the steel cord takes care of transferring the forces created on the tread. Secure bonding of steel mesh and rubber ensures that a tyre can withstand high speeds and guarantees optimum running characteristics. Either by hand or automatically, the previously made individual parts now get put onto the assembly drum and bonded together. The finished blank then goes into the curing machine. Back in the Dubai Autodrome, the 24-hour field races through the night. Those that are able utilize the opportunity for a short nap. There's no chance of rest, on the other hand, in the pit lane. It's all systems go here and has been for 13 hours. As dawn breaks, the race enters its decisive stage. For cars, drivers and mechanics, the task is to keep going. 
The night was very strenuous. It's starting to become really tough. But somehow, we've got to pull it off to concentrate fully for the final few hours. In the end, this stamina shown by the IMSA performance team sets them apart in every way. In their Porsche GT3 RSR, drivers Narak, Pile and Holzer take overall victory. For sure it was not easy because uh, we have a lot of small problems during the race, but the team make an excellent job and I would like especially to thank my teammate because he make really no mistake during 24 hours and uh, it's perfect.